Hey guys, how you doing? This is McQueen. I'm here in Milwaukee at the Democratic National Convention. Here pretty much let me know that uh, they're going to first be services as well as being with the Milwaukee police as well as I've been with the um, Advocate of Rural Health Care Hospital, which is available to provide services um, and just pretty much checking people and COVID issues, a lot of other COVID issues, which is what I'm going on. Um, there are a couple other issues that I've got to work on. There's a couple other issues that I've really got to work with, as you guys know, um, especially with um, COVID. Again, um, we want to make sure that the temperature's checked also. We want to make sure that there's no sore throat or um, um, a slight fever. We want to be checking their daily temperatures. We want to make sure there's no sore throat as pretty much a sore throat temperature check and as well as if they have any breathing complications which is really a basic journal the basic journal is pretty much they're just doing temperature checks and right now the whole event the whole dnc event has scaled down from about 50,000 people and has scaled down to 500 people and now only about 200 people are here maybe 200 to 500 people max are here at this facility so there's a lot of other events going on being able to provide services as well as working with African War Hospital. I had an issue where, where I tried to get uh, wheelchair assistance and uh, through Advocate Health um, for my employee there as well. And so um, um, being able to coordinate with them, I didn't have a lot of time before, and I was actually working on other issues as well. So, and then also with Milwaukee Police, they're very cordial. And then also with the Secret Service, again, that's another issue that pretty much has. Uh, security security concerns as well as basic for say they did they did say that they do have Milwaukee a uh, fire department on staff so tomorrow on Thursday tomorrow on Tuesday through Wednesday I'm gonna have to also check with the I'm so sorry to, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I'm also gonna have to check with Milwaukee Fire Department just to make sure that they are on call and that they are good as well. So um, I've checked with Milwaukee Police with the closest hospital. The closest hospital is about within you know, an hour without in about a mile to a mile and a half of this premises of the city hospital. As well as there's about um, a whole uh, garage of secret service staff here as well as Milwaukee Police supervising the event and pretty much letting people know that this event is happening and going on. So continue to provide services as well as pretty much um, they are having everybody wear cloth masks. No, not, not a lot of people are wearing disposable masks. So what are they doing is they're the especially with the Milwaukee Tourism Department Tourism Bureau is having a lot of people wear cloth masks. It's not these disposable masks. It's more say it's not these disposable masks here for Milwaukee for the, for the next four days. They're pretty much giving out disposable masks. So if you are in a vicinity of a if you are attending this event, they want you to get daily COVID-19 testing as well, pretty much as well as to wear a mask. So they are not giving out any disposable masks. It's pretty much a basic black black cloth mask, which is pretty much general, a basic cloth mask, okay? They're having a cost mask, but what is more hygienic, especially during conventions like these, but it's a little bit more hygienic, the most high, most most hygienic thing, especially during COVID season, is to wear a disposable mask. That is really the most hygienic thing because you can put it in and you can throw it away. But if you are constantly having to wear people, constantly coming into contact with people every single day, uh, people, they usually put these cloth masks on. They usually put these cloth masks on and you're coming into contact with people every single day, especially with senators. You wear the cloth mask and you really are supposed to wash them every single day, especially when you come into contact people now um so as well as it's best to wear disposable masks now now the strain of the the, the COVID-19 coronavirus is a little bit stronger in different regions of the United States the strain of the COVID-19 is a little bit stronger in New York and it's a little, a little bit weaker down south so right now what's happening down south is a lot of people are getting different strains of the disease now spread a little bit from east to uh, to west okay there's a lot of other issues going on so pretty much what people 
got in New York, and here in Milwaukee is a little bit different strain of the COVID-19 virus. So again, again, be sure to wear the best, the best proposition, and, and also um, some bus drivers on these metro buses. Some bus drivers on the buses are giving out paper masks made of cloth, paper towels, okay? They're giving out cloth made of paper towels, which is really still not hygienic. It's very not hygienic. So, um, the best thing, the best thing to do in this particular uh, time right now is just to wear a basic, basic cloth disposable mask every single day as well as to check your temperature as well as to check your breathing heart breathing pattern which is pretty much normal on a scale on different levels okay and again it really doesn't doesn't really matter uh, what type of event it is it could be from an event from 500 people or it could be in, from another event to over 50,000 you still want to be pretty much clear and making sure that whoever you are exposed around whatever is going on in your um, whatever you, whoever you are exposed around or whatever kind of other issue that you, if you have any kind of pre-existing health issues and the people that you are exposed around, you're around are, are healthy individuals, um, they're healthy, they're athletic, they're um, pretty much in the same different, even if their travel is better than the same, you know, body weight type issue, you still want to get checked. So necessarily if the CVS Walgreens is closing the tech, testing, you still want to go to a local hospital and just get a clearance to make sure, to make sure you're good to go to be exposed around other people, especially politicians and the elite, to let them know that, okay, you know, it's great to meet you. I just want to make sure that I'm cleared medically, clinically, as well as, well as cleared socially to be in a type of environment. So, there's a lot of other issues going around here. So far, right now, with the Democratic National Convention, there is about 500 to, there's about 200 people to 500 people here on Stone. There's a lot of other issues going on here as well. And again, you want to do your very best to check your temperature every day, drink plenty of fluids, drink plenty of fluids as well as continue, continue to, to check those around you and the surroundings around you as well. Pretty much be involved. Get some fresh air, breathe, as well as just continue to get involved in the community and figure out what is going on. Hello, how you doing? To figure out what is going on because, like I said before, the strain of COVID is different in different states. In New York, the strain of COVID may be different here in Chicago than it is in Los Angeles than it is down south in Atlanta. So the strain of COVID is different. And when you come to big events, events and conventions like these then it becomes a more a, a more corona a more combined combined different strains where everybody is going through different symptoms so it's not necessarily everybody has the same symptom but everybody is going through different symptoms and you have to be very careful because you might be exposed to somebody that has the flu as well as difficulty breathing as well as has other issues to deal with and then you come in and you're very healthy and then you're a very healthy in the individual and you get exposed to somebody that is on a higher stage of the has already been tested positive and they are on a higher stage of coronavirus then then you want to make sure that you are pretty much clear to go physically as well as medically clear to be around people especially in events like this okay so there's a lot more to do i also have to do the uh get some more report as well as become published and a couple more people in boston as well as in dc continue to go some more meetings check with other people as well with dr Hanji as well as other individuals who are pretty much trying to be involved in this event and pretty much let people know what is going on so so far good COVID here at the DNC is pretty much good. They don't have any major issues to serve as security, um, especially with uh, the hospital healthcare system. Advocate Aurora Health had, which was my former employer, Advocate Aurora Health had a contract with the DNC, but that didn't work out, so the DNC is contracted with the local a city and state officials to do healthcare services as well as provide COVID testing. So the DNC is good for the next four days. We don't have any other issues like we did with Herman McCain. That is great. And like I said, I was tested on Friday in Boston 
um, at the hospital for COVID, as well as to continue to get out there and become involved, get some fresh air, have a nice glass of water, and let people know that you are around and you're available for services, okay? So especially when you go to big events like this, it's best to manage, get involved, and continue to be out there. And remember, the strain of COVID is different with different people. In New York, it might be a little bit different than it is in Chicago. Chicago or Miami or uh, Atlanta, uh, St. Louis, uh, Atlanta or Phoenix or even in Los Angeles, the strain of COVID might be a little bit different. So you pretty much want to do your very best to get involved and to continue to pretty much be involved, especially with COVID-19. So this is with me and Bottle from Bottle First Aid Responder Services. I'm going to have to type up a little bit of reports. My Chicago media agency will come through at this point. DNC event was very, very successful. For the next four days until Thursday, we pulled this out without a hatch. There's no major issues with COVID, so hopefully what will happen next week in Charlotte, North Carolina, that they will also not have any major events with COVID or have any event exposure, any kind of contact or exposure to COVID. Okay, so so far the closest the hospitals are good, good old teams. Everybody's here. We have a couple medics and staff here on site as well as in the convention center. Um, and then we have the Secret Service. They are also certified first aid as well as a couple of vendors here that are also certified first aid as well as the, the testers, the screeners. We do have a couple of screeners on staff that are also tested with um, testing been cleared for photo goods. So, so far, the DNC is pretty good. I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to President Donald, Donald J. Trump's brother, uh, who just passed away. And again, we have a lot more things to do. We still have to keep it involved, and we still have to let people know what is going on, okay? So, the best thing I would do for you is to go ahead, be sure. Now, cloth masks are pretty much okay. It's just generic, okay? Because I still have to get more into the chemistry of the disease. Cloth masks are okay, but they're not really 100% hygienic, okay? So if you are going to wear a cloth mask and you really want to be hygienic, you usually wash the cloth mask with soap every two days. If you really want to buy, be, if you really want to be best hygienic, wash the cloth mask every two days, okay? Every two days. As well as the best thing, especially during events like these, is to wear a disposable mask, which they were not passing out these mask, but just to be able to sure they have these in Chicago as well as in Boston. Okay. So great. Okay. So this is a clean out here. I know everybody's here. There's a lot of everybody's pretty much already inside the convention center and they're having watch parties all over. So thank you guys again. Thank you for the DNC for accommodating me, even though it was going to become the biggest list of all time. As well as thank you here to the hotel here on tonight. This is the height, the height, the height in Milwaukee. I'm very happy to be here and just to get out, check my medic bag. I will be probably walking around and doing pretty much doing services and doing what I can. All right, so this is Lequeen from Battle First Aid Responder Services here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on day one. Day one, well, Sunday was a day one. They had a pre, a pre service. Now today is the first night of the Democratic National Convention here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Very happy to be here and glad to be a part of the medical services here with the city as well as with the national convention okay we still have a lot more to do we still have to be involved politically we still have to get there and make sure also that our delicate vote count as well to make sure that we count for those delicate votes as well as for those delegates and those super delegates which is another issue as well that we still have to work on so again um, thank you guys for having me i'm very happy to be here i do appreciate the time and the effort Again, just one day at a time, be sure to get out there and get tested. Take care of yourself. If you are wearing a cloth mask, you should have washed it every 24 hours. 24 to 48 hours, wash your cloth mask. Basic water or simple water, then let it dry. Okay, this is Queen from live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Keep me your prayers. God bless.